Hi guys, X Rainbow here. I'm here to do a quick uh, run through of the Simple Gem Market. I have hay fever, so I probably sound really sick, so I apologize. The Simple Gem Market is basically all gems that aren't from the current expansion. For example, Shadow Gem, uh, Black Diamond, everything you see in my bags. Uh, Simple Gems always needed to level jewel crafting. Not that many people actually sell them because they don't realize how high the demand for the gems are which is why it's a great market to get into. It takes minimal effort. Uh, you don't have to do very much. You don't even have to leave your capital city. And you can make several thousand gold a day. I have personally made 20k on, in 24 hour period selling these gems. This is a busy realm though, bear in mind, but you can probably still make a few thousand gold a day. So basically, I've already written a text guide for this where the link will be in the description below, but I thought for those who prefer videos, I would make a video guide. I'm basically going to just go through the reading through the text guide and show you in-game uh, some of the things that are related to the Simple Gem Market. So to start with, uh, how do you make money with Simple Gem Market? It's pretty basic. You buy or farm ore, you prospect it and you sell the gems. That's it. Uh, how, how do you go about doing this? You start. You can start as low as level 5 with 50 jewel crafting. Um, you can double your money in fact which is really great for low levels, which is why I highly recommend taking jewel crafting and mining as, as professions on a low level character as opposed to mining and herbalism or skinning. You don't, um, you don't need to know very much, all you need to know is what gems are in demand, which I can show you with a link below. You can also check out your realm's personal data for pricing, so price of gems, because some may be worth more than others, in which case you should focus on those ones. You need a source of ore, obviously. I would recommend buying ore because farming ore can take a lot of time and it's honestly not really worth it for this market, in my opinion. And when you're prospecting the ore, I'd recommend using Trade Skill Master Destroy, which uh, you can buy into a key, I'll show you shortly. And you should, you don't have to like watch yourself prospect. You could watch TV or watch a live stream or even read a book while just pressing your prospect key. Uh, if you're planning to sell a lot of germs, I'd recommend obviously using an auction house add-on, which I will be showing in a different video. If you can hear water running in the background, please ignore it. Anyway, we're going to start with the basics now, which is the first ore, which is profitable, which is tin ore. So, um, I recommend going to the website wowprospector.com, and it can use your server data to tell you how much profit you can make from each ore. Bear in mind, this will only be working when the WoW API is working, which it currently isn't, so that site is slightly outdated until WoW API goes back up. If you don't know what the WoW API is, basically it's the, the data export from WoW that allows websites such as WoW Auction or the Undermined Journal to uh, get so much data and you know craft all those graphs. Anyway, so um, I personally don't usually pay more than 30 gold per stack of tin ore. If I just sort my bags there to make some space. So I'm going to buy out um, all the ore that's below um, 1.5 gold each. You can go higher than this. It depends on your server. But most servers won't be able to profit if they go higher than 30 gold. I know I can profit higher, but I don't want to just for this example. So, oh damn you people, this that sell things in stacks of one. Okay, so I've spent 211 gold. I should write that down somewhere. 211 gold. So if I take all that tin ore out of my bags, I have bought a total of 148 which is not obviously a prospected number because it doesn't end with a 5 or a 0 but that's okay, that's okay, it will do for now so if I just make sure those are all stacked up um, and then mail it to my jewel crafter so right, sends, now I'm going to relog and prospect so if you do not already have TSM prospecting I highly recommend getting it, it's this little box here you choose prospecting and whatever keybind you have, I have a keybound to my one there. Um, so when I double click my one or you know with my button, it prospects my ore. So I can just sit here pressing one while I'm doing whatever I'm doing, which is usually actually watching what I prospect. <laughs> but you can watch a movie or a live stream or whatever you want. 
Right, so I've prospected all the ore and I've sent it back. As you can see here, I've got 12 moss agate, 18 shadow gem, 7 lesser moonstone and 1 jade. Now, I've already actually looked up the prices for these, um, but I'll just show you to confirm that this is how much they're worth on my realm. So if I search moss agate, you can see here, they're actually 43 gold each, which is a lot of gold. And my shadow gem are also quite a lot. They are 23 gold each. So in fact, all the gems that I just got from that ore total up to 956 gold, which take away the gold that I spent on the ore, which is 211, means I'm left with 745 gold profit, which is, you know, I have almost quadrupled my money, which is great, especially if you're a low level, although it may not seem that much gold for 745, it adds up and I promise you these gems will sell they may not necessarily sell you know on the same day that you list them but they will sell within a few days because they're always needed and it's it's great money now tin ore isn't the only ore you can actually do this with the best ore in the game that I find is adamantite ore I will buy pretty much I can't spell it, adamantite or I will buy pretty much any ore that is under five gold each. I can make profit if it's more than that, but I would not recommend going above five gold each. So for example, someone has put twenty stacks, twenty up, I'd buy all of that. I'd buy everything up to this, all of that I'd buy. And you can again quadruple, if not more, your money, but on a larger scale. Um so if you spend 100 gold on one stack of ore, you could get 400 to 500 gold back from that one stack of ore, which is great. Um, the main seller from adamantite ore is adamantite powder, which is needed uh, a lot for jewel crafting. If you check out my sales of adamantite powder, uh, I can't spell it. Adamantite powder, you can see here that I've sold a lot of the stuff. Um, in total, if I click on the item, I have sold 28k's worth. This is a 23k of that being in the last month, which is super. You can also make it into um, mercurial adamantite to sell. And again, I've made a lot of money from that as well. If you you have to be in Outlands if you want to do adamantite ore. If you are still in vanilla content, I recommend thorium ore. You can if you are in Wrath content, I recommend Cobalt Ore. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm recommending Cobalt Ore, because it's the lowest ore of the expansion. That's because you want the green quality gems to sell, not the blue quality gems. And Saronite and Titanium give you blue or purple quality gems, which are not worth very much to levelers. So, um, I'll put a quick list up here of what you should be buying, and how much I recommend you should buy it for. If your server is more profitable, you may find you can buy it for more than that, but to start with, I would not spend more than my listed prices. While I'm here, I may as well show you my sales for the past month. Bear in mind that these are stacks of five, but I may have sold more than one set of five. So for example, here I've sold uh, nine stacks of five, which is 45. So in the past month, I've sold all these gems, which is a lot. Um, I don't... All I sell on this account is gems, this character rather. So the past three days I've made 130k from gems. I've also spent 77k. That's not all on ore. Well it is, but it's on ghost iron ore as well, which I use on my other account. So if you take away the ghost iron ore, you probably get a more le legitimate... Um, oh dear, a more legitimate amount of what I've spent. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Buy or prospect it and sell the gems. Uh, if you want more information, again, there's a link below the description uh, in the description box, which will send you to a page in which I've made a guide all about simple gems, uh, how much you should be spending, how much you could sell the gems for. And there's a lot of information there. If you aren't interested in looking at that, I'm going to read a bit up from that page anyway. Just some hints and tips that I wrote originally uh, for the simple gem market. So firstly, if you don't have patience, this isn't the market for you because chances are you won't sell the gems within five minutes of making them. It could take up to a week or so, but it was is worth it, in my opinion, the wait because you, you're quadrupling your money sometimes, which is really worth it. Uh, don't sell gems in stacks of one. Uh, 
the reason I say this is because if you look at the jewel crafting guides out there, most of them recommend you need like 60 of each gem, in which case no one is going to want to buy 60 lots of one gem. Um, well, they might if it's really, really cheap, but otherwise it's just a lot of clicking to do to level a, a profession. So I recommend personally selling gems in stacks of five, because if you sell in stacks of ten, people might be put off by the large price of the stack of ten. And usually in guides, most of the amount of gems you need are divisible by five. So, are dividable by five. Divisible by five, what does that even mean? Dividable by five. So yeah, stacks of five are great. Um... Don't be afraid to flip gems. If you don't have jewel crafting yourself, you may find that buying out and reselling some gems is totally profitable. For example, uh, shadow gems sometimes drop to one gold on servers. If you buy all them out and relist them for 10 gold, I'm pretty sure you will sell them. Um, if you prospect adamant, well, if you prospect anything from Outlands or above, I'd recommend just vendoring the blue gem, the blue quality gems, uh, such as these, you know, Twilight Opal, Monarch, Topaz. The only blue gem you should never vendor is Forest Emerald because that's used in a lot of guides and it does sell for 50 gold each. Um, with my Trade Skill Master, if you use Trade Skill Master, I recommend ignoring people selling in stacks of one because um, I find that I still tell, sell tons even though I ignore people selling in stacks of one. So I, I ignore stacks under five because I, <laughs> I just do. It's, I, maybe I would sell more if I if I didn't do that, but I think I'm making more money by not undercutting people who like list one gem for two gold when the price is twenty gold. Um, as well as jewel crafting, uh, while selling gems, I recommend selling Eternal Earth and Black Diamonds because these sell for fifty gold each and they're needed for jewel crafting leveling and they're just great money. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I can think of. So. Good luck with trying the simple gem market and I hope it makes you some profit. Hi guys, it's me X Rainbow. Uh, this is just a short clip to show you what kind of sales I have achieved in a 24 hour period with the simple gem market. I was quite surprised to see how much I'd sold. I didn't expect this much to have sold. Um, I think the other 50 males also gems, but as you can see, it's a 24 hour period because each male says 29 days, which means I received yesterday. Uh, once the mailbox refreshes to the other 50 mails, I will show you those too. So, as you can see, a lot of these are well, they're all five gems at a time, and most of them have sold for just under 50 gold per gem, and then obviously the auction house cut. Um, it should refresh momentarily. Do, 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 do. See, I have a lot of gems, I prospect a lot, and recently sales have dived down a bit low, but I was actually quite surprised to see how much I've sold today. So I thought, you know, why not record this? Because uh, it's good to show people how much you can sell on a good day, which is what gold making is all about, the good days. If this would hurry up, there we go. Um, as you can see, all of these are still got 29 days on the end of them, so it's all from a 24 hour period. Nearly done, down here you can see. Um, so that's a hundred auctions sold. Why did it stop? That was weird. Okay, so 24 hour period I've made 20 and a half K from Simple Gems, which I probably may have spent four to five K buying the ore possibly less because I'm selling the gems for a, a lot of money so yeah you can make a lot of money with a simple gem market.